high definition multimedia interface consumer electronics control. Ooh, that's a lot to say. Well, what is it and why do you even care? Stay tuned because this is something you definitely want to know about. HDMI CEC is an HDMI based standard that allows seamless and integrated experiences with audio and video components. You may have already even used HDMI CEC in your home and not even realized it. If you have like a Fire TV stick or a Roku or a PlayStation or an Xbox, all these devices are capable of CEC, but what exactly does it do? Well, HDMI CEC is, as the name suggests, consumer electronics control. It allows you to control more than just that one device. It allows you, for example, if you pick up your PlayStation controller and turn on your PlayStation, not only does the PlayStation turn on, but then the TV turns on and it switches to the correct input. It runs over HDMI, which means you don't need any additional control processors or even cables. But how could this work in a corporate environment and could it even save you some money? Well, the answer is yes. In video conference rooms, it's very common for AV integrators to install more equipment than what's actually necessary. They tend to lean very heavily into control processors, uh, Crestron and Extron type processors, either IP or RS-232 based. But sometimes that's not necessary. When you have video conferencing kits, such as a Logitech Rally kit or a Cisco WebEx room kit, these devices can use CEC to turn on and off your display at the proper input automatically, as well as turn those devices back off when you're done. As long as your video conferencing device or entertainment device is CEC enabled, as well as your display is CEC enabled and has the feature turned on in the settings, when you turn your controlling device on, your display will also turn on. And vice versa, whenever you turn your control device off, your display will also turn off. Now. HDMI CEC does have a limitation of three playback devices. So if it's a more complex AV setup, you may need to still look at these more complex control systems. But for simple systems, HDMI CEC does the job. Just as an example, on screen, I have a very simple, not even complete layout of a Logitech Rally kit. Now, at the base, you have your touch panel, the Logitech Tap. Well, when you walk into this conference room, the Logitech Tap actually has a motion sensor on the front of the touch panel that once it senses motion will turn the system on. But it's not just turning on your video conferencing system, it's going to send that wake up command to your roommate or other compute device, which then will send an HDMI CEC command to your display to turn that display on. Once you leave that room, the roommate will eventually time out depending on what settings you use and will send another CEC command to turn the display off. Now, it's important to keep in mind that different vendors call CEC by different names. Uh, for example, Samsung refers to CEC as AnyNet Plus. LG refers to it as Simplink. Sony refers to it as Bravia Link. And Sharp refers to it as Aquos Link. And these are just a few. Every manufacturer is going to call it something different. Now, this, of course, was a very simple video, a very quick video, just kind of explaining what HDMI CEC is and how it can be used. Like and subscribe, and please let me know if there's anything else you would like to know that I could make a video on. Bye. Intro. <laughs> that allows seamless, integrated, that allows. Yeah. <laughs>